Good afternoon, everyone. Three typhoons in the Pacific, sprites with meteor showers, plasma discharges, three water spouts in Sweden, electric storms, thunderstorms in the desert, incredible hail. We see that planet wide. And just as an idea of how the weather is going to amplify, I'll put a few squares and then we're going to measure those together here so you can really see the amplification and how much more to expect as our climate shifts moving into 2021. And with that being said, you're definitely going to have to start growing some of your own food. TrueLeafMarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet, sprouts, microgreens, and the ADAPT2030 link is the description box below, as well as the links to all of tonight's images and stories. That brings me to the tri-weekly podcast, Mini Ice Age Conversations, episode number 87 with Lee Wheelbarger. We discuss the same exact thing, the amplification of the grand solar minimum, along with the timeline and what you can expect as our weather becomes more and more chaotic. So the point of the video is that using Shepard, Zarkov, Zarkova, and Popov's double dynamo on the sun and magnetic canceling waves, the wider the wave is, the more extreme the weather becomes. As these magnetic waves cancel each other out, it results in fewer sunspots, more coronal holes, possible EMPs or CMEs, and a shift in jet streams, which means more extreme weather. I just put boxes in the amount of shift that you're seeing between the lines. What I've done is I brought that out, showing you the years of amplification and how much more we can expect for changes moving from July of 2018 into 2019 and then up to 2020 to 21. So notice the changes from 2016 to 2021, eight times at least. And then when we get into just what we're talking about, our current time, the middle of 2018, moving up to 2020, that's going to be a four times amplification. And you have seen already the weather starting to fall apart globally. Everywhere you look, it's extreme storms, extreme everything. Hail, wind, floods, droughts, fires, wherever you look, it is amplified. And you see what's coming? It's going to increase four times what we're experiencing right now by 2021. The crop losses this year are astounding. When it comes in at the end of the year, oh, the futures prices are going to spike, and so is your food indefinitely. This is the last year of a stable grain crop harvest on our planet. Please take heed of how much change is coming, and you can see how much chaos will be in the economy, governments, etc., and your life. For an even example, what's happening this week? Three typhoons in the Western Pacific, which is rare. Triple water spouts coming down in Sweden of all places, not Italy in the Mediterranean. This is in Sweden. I want to wide that out for you. But you've noticed the size of the water spouts also starting to increase. In the center there, that's more like an EF2 or 3 tornado over water than it actually is a water spout. Electrical phenomenon is what you're going to start to see as well. More electrified skies as our Earth tries to equalize its charge with the sun. Sprites and meteor showers together over Slovenia, Croatia. Zoom in on that because the Perseid meteor shower is peaking. And also at the same time, you're just getting a lot of action in the skies. And you can start to see why the ancients were putting petroglyphs on the stones and carving them in cliff sides. They witnessed something in the sky in the plasma event as well. Now, speaking of bizarre plasma barrages, if you will, France. This is on the 12th and the 13th through the midnight hour. Wide that out so you can really get a glimpse of it. And the amount of discharge coming out, you can actually see the width of those bolts is far greater than it has been. And when you really start to capture it on camera where you can slow it down and take a look at what's happening in our skies, in our atmosphere, because we're getting more and more of these reports of just abundant flashes in the skies that are never ending. It's like a strobe light festival. Great image here of lightning strike on top of a cathedral. Let's talk about atmospheric compression events, hail, wind, damage, etc. This is in the U.S. But when people need to stop riding their motorbikes due to too much hail, I want to wide that out here. I mean, literally, how deep is that? Four and five inches there? It's almost like a snowstorm in the middle of summer, and we're seeing this planet-wide right now as well. And with different weather anomalies, places becoming drier that were normally wet, and wetter places starting to dry out. Example, middle of the desert, thunderstorms, lightning storms, 
Massive weather fronts passing through gargantuan rains. This is what's expected. Areas in deserts, the Sahel, North Africa, areas in the United States out west, desert areas becoming moister. Where other areas are starting to dry out, that moisture has to shift somewhere. And if you look far enough back in the patterns, you can see where it's going to shift, when it's going to shift, and how intensely the shift will be. That's called a grand solar minimum. That's called a history book. And we're seeing things repeating in the cycles. And I do thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. The changes in the width of those magnetic canceling waves, that is your blueprint moving out into 2021. You need to get yourselves ready right now. And speaking of that, tri-weekly podcast, mini Ice Age Conversations, 30-minute in-depth analysis of the grand solar minimum along with astrophysicists, inventors, radical gardening, indoor vertical farming, and everything in between. Pop over to Steemit, Adapt 2030, blog format with all the text and images for each of the videos.